Leave a comment down below. San Genie. Oh Let him know. Let him know. He's the San Genie. Welcome back to part three, ladies and gentlemen. Patrick's on the tee, hole number 13. Part three. Boom, par five, 534 yards, and he has smokes one down the left-hand side. I actually don't know where the pin is. Where's the pin? Is it up that hill? Oh yeah, that was perfect then, nice shot. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Brody Smith stepping up to the tee. Says he's gonna crush driver. 500 yard par five, let's see it. Right. Boom goes the dynamite. Oh no! It's going as far right as distance straight. That is not going to be reachable, ladies and gentlemen. Jeez. Okay, I have about 275 yards to the pin, playing uphill into the wind, so it's probably over 300 yards. No real reason for me to try to go for it. A lot of trouble, so I'm just going to lay up um, and try to give myself about 100 yards or so left in with a wedge. Playable, but it's not good. Oh boy. Pat has 300 yards left. This hole is again playing insanely long with just the wind situation right now. So he's just gonna hit a little iron layup, give himself a chance at birdie. Not in the bunker. Does it cover it? We don't know how far that bunker is. Oh, it's short of it. Stay short. Yep, just short of the bunker on the left. That'll play. Nice shot. Difficult par five, Brody, after a couple of wild shots, has found himself actually in a pretty good spot. He's got 100 yards to the pin. A little sandwich. He's hitting a little sandwich. Ah, uh, he's tugged it. I would think it would go this way off that hill. That would oh be the correct thinking. Brody's baffled. I am absolutely baffled right now. Patrick has 95 straight up the hill, straight up the wind situation. Gonna have uh, a hell of a time keeping it low. <laughs> yeah, just gonna try his best to keep it low out of this wind. And he does that. Kind of jumped up a little bit, but it should be enough to cover the bunker. Yep, I think he's probably just on the short uh, side of the fringe. That's insane. Yeah, not very good. Patrick's third shot came up a little short here. And then I actually came up really short. I don't really know what happened there. A lot more wind up there than I thought. So two delicate chips. Hey, nice shot. Well done. Release. It looks good. Ah. Stopped. Oh, give it. Oh my god. That went both ways twice. All right, Pat has made it to the green for his birdie putt from way deep. Like I said, there's a lot more wind up there than one would have thought. Steps off of it again. He's just not feeling comfortable over the ball today. He gives it a good whack coming down the hill and just still not enough pace. These greens are Tricky, tricky speeds, tricky undulations, lots of trickiness all over the place. Mm. Mm. The flow of this round is uh, one that is impressive. Some holes are taking 30 to 40 minutes, some holes are taking 10 minutes. It's an interesting uh, round of golf, but we have made it to the signature hole. Hole number 14 out here. It's a par three, 155 yards. Uh, unfortunately, it's kind of blocked a little bit by the uh, carp in front of us because they, this guy's cart died. But I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you guys can see just how sweet this is. Tee box. Oh wow, it's going super zoom mode. I didn't even know it could do that. But tee box, valley, tee box, uh, green. Very sweet looking hole. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Try to get one on the distance. 100, 155 yards, I'm hitting an eight iron. The signature hole out here, hole number 14, playing 155 yards today. You can see the rainbow in the background. That definitely helps the views for sure. But over this massive cavern, we'll find the green right here that sits 
Pretty much with not too much space left or right, long or short. With the wind in the face, we are just trying to find the green here. Trying to come back. Here we go, let's see. Patrick's luck on the signature hole. Would be a fun one to get an ace. He's gonna give it a chance. Oh, it's a little bit right. Should have the distance though, cutting through the wind. I think he's on the dance floor, yeah. About 12 feet or so for birdie, nice shot. And then the sand over here on the right, Patrick hit a great shot. This is a really tough looking hole. Look at this view though, guys, holy smokes, this is sick. All right, here we go, let's make something happen. Oh man, there's not many things you wanna say about this besides, it's like, what the freaking F? <laughs> well, it's like in some sort of, but I can ground my club. But it's not, it's not undoable. I'm, I'm gonna play like a sand shot, like a blast sand shot. Yep, you gotta just blast it out of there. Oh, it's blasted! And real good! Go in! Oh, Go in. oh yeah. The kids oh, are gonna yeah. love that at home. The kids will love that one at home. That's they how you do it. Patrick is hungry, and he wants some bird. This would be a tasty, delicious one right here on the signature hole. Number 14, big breaker. Plays it a little bit too firm and rolls it way by. That was tip. That was almost a Brody-esque pace putt. Not it's in my head that it was uphill. Yeah, not uphill from this angle, but it's okay. When all you're thinking about is sleep, but you gotta make the par putt. Can he power it through? Oh my God! Gosh, that was mean. That that was actually cruel. Dang. That's like five. To ten yeah, that's seconds. not. It's not ideal. A little uh, emotional speech to the camera, but it was straight <laughs> off the, the flower. This is a testy one. I don't like these. Brody, normally the announcers do the announcing. Oh. <laughs> Zorro. <laughs> I didn't Jeez. like it. Jeez, if like, only you would have left the announcing to the announcers, maybe you could have concentrated. I didn't like that putt straight from the get-go. We are back to, you can go ahead, Blair. What's yeah, the actual hit it, you can go. Back to back, par threes. Hole 15, playing, oh, I don't know, 185? Something like that. We're actually gonna give a little Blair time here. We'll see if he can juice one in. He's been working with the UNCW uh, coach. Oh, getting a lot of, a lot of tips and uh, we'll see if it pays out for him on this shot here. Oh, it might have just done oh that. Straight at the center of the green, good distance on it. Just short, running up, middle of the green, great shot. It's gonna be tough for Patrick to follow up that performance. I mean, that it was hit really, really well, center of the green, but Pat has been doing... My, my six consecutive three putt. He's trying to break the three putt, the three putt curse. Could he do it on this hole? By making it, he wouldn't have to putt, so that might be the play. What a strike. That's going right at the pin. Just a little left now, the wind's pushing it. Pin high, yep, hits lit. It actually, oh I, my gosh. I don't know, actually. Oh, I see it now. It might be a foot. It might, it might be a foot. What a shot. Pretty close. Brody has got his work cut out for him. He looks like he's gonna have to hit it about that is tough to with, get within a foot to beat the, uh, the current KP. Let's see how he handles the pressure. Oh, uh, when he started at the center, going left, left of the green, bouncing even further left. Rolling across the green. I mean, I don't know what happened. We don't know. Nobody knows. Wait, you saw it? It, it rolled all the way across the green. No, it kicked yeah, it, it kicked here. right? Yeah. Oh. We have four and a half holes remaining. Guys, it feels like I've been out here for seven days. I know it's not been that long, but this round is just never ending. And my swing is slowly starting to deteriorate over time. I'm starting to feel the deterioration of my swing. I have a couple holes left. I'm just gonna hold on for dear life and try to do my best for you guys to finish strong. Here we go, let's get it. All right, I got a favorable bounce. My ball landed up here maybe or in this hillside or something. 
shot straight across the green, have a little up and down putt from the fringe. And we thought Patrick's ball was really close. It probably scared the hole because it rolled up this hill right here and then rolled down the hill and then ended up over there. So he's got about 15 feet up the hill for birdie, but it must have scared it for a second. That would have been fun. We're in the shadows, down in the dunes. Birdie's with a birdie putt. Go, 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 go. Go and go right, go, go. Gosh, how does it stay up on this hill? There's so much slope. Not enough slope. Not enough slope. Pat just got a perfect read from Ben who just drained it from about five feet behind Pat's ball. Can he do the same? Nope, his doesn't, nope, his just kind of stayed straight. Yeah. It did? Yours didn't move at all. Brody, you heard him. He's going right edge. For all I care, you could go left edge. <laughs> oh. He went right edge. He should have went left. The fans are, boy, they're really leaving the, the golf course early now. No one's staying around for the after the post interview. Nobody wants to interview the guy that shot 100 today. Imagine that. <laughs> This is what we came to see. Yes, hole 16, 573 buckaroonies. Where's the hole you might ask? No one flipping knows, but we're just gonna aim at this huge power plant situation out here and hit the ball as flipping hard as possible and hopefully it stays on this planet. In the shadows where he likes to hang out. Oh my gosh! He just ate a big bag of Lunchables it's like 220 in the air, fellas. That's that's how you do it. That's it deep, right there. deep and to the outside. I'm not gonna hold anything back here. Uh, you heard him. He's not holding back. It's me. I mean, it might be possible for him to break a leg here. Ah! Oh! It's definitely the highest I've ever seen. Oh, he hit that go thing. For it's high and fading. It's still not landing. It's still climbing. It's still climbing. It has, <laughs> oh yeah! It hasn't landed yet. It's yeah. it hasn't landed yet. It's still Bro, it's still in there. You guys you guys see it? Oh, there it goes. It just landed. Just landed. Wow, that's not bad. Patrick has found his ball. This is a long hole. He's just gonna lay up here with a little iron. Try get one in the fairway. Yep, he's done just that, and that's gonna roll out for a long time. Yeah, perfect. Going right at that trap. Nice shot. Brody's bombed it way up here. I thought he was on the green. Turns out he's got how much? 230 Two, left. 230 two left. Gonna go with a seven iron. Going with a seven iron. 237 iron? What planet is this? Planet Brooks Kepka and Brody Smith, I guess. These guys are buddies. I don't know if you knew that. Ooh. A little less. He's chasing it out right. Oh, the pin is over there. Oh. <laughs> I got a nice shot, so it must be good. All right. right. Patrick laid up to the perfect spot here. 110 yards is all he has left. The sun is just, God, it's looking good on this man. He looks good in this light, ladies and gentlemen. I tell you what, I'm gonna go at it with probably a nine iron to wedge, I'm guessing, somewhere in that range. Oh no. Give him a bounce. Though. Oh no. Just came underneath it. Stop it. <laughs> he is censoring himself, ladies and gentlemen. Patrick elects to go with the putter here from this. Oh, no, he's chipping it. Right at me. Almost hit me. Rolling off. Stay, stay on, stay on, and it's gone. Nice. Oh, he's in the sand, princess again. Oh my gosh, what an out from the sand princess. What is this for? We don't even know, but he's going in with the wedge, which is a high chance of this is going in. Do it for it, hit the pin. There's no pin in there and I still ask for it to hit the pin. Okay, Pat, oh Ben! Gosh, Pat refuses to stop with the foot wedge. Oh. oh no, that's still got a little meat on it. No, 
no. Oh. All right, we're gonna have to tally those up. We have made it to hole 17, guys, par four. I'm gonna look at it right here, playing, you know, 470, 480 yards, par four, downwind. Uh, it's gonna be a doozy. Blair's up first. No shot tracer, guys, it's getting a little too dark for it to pick up. This hole looks like a beast to try to. What are you supposed to do here? Hole 17 is a par four, 480 yards, playing downwind today. As you will get up here, you'll see that the fairway really pinches in with these trees at around 330 yards. A smart play would be to try to land something 300, 310, and have it kind of roll out, which would probably be my three wood, but you already know I have driver in hand on this because I am going for birdies and playing aggressive. We've got one lone bunker short left in a massive building off in the distance. Not really quite sure what building that is, but I'm sure it is important. Green looks pretty uh, approachable. Time to hit a good shot here. Patrick's on the tee. He's got the beautiful sailboat as his target in the background right there. I mean, I'm playing so well, I'm, I'm just able to dial it in. I'm gonna aim at the right sail of the <laughs> sailboat. That's how good I'm playing. You know what they say, aim small, hit small, miss small, or something small. <laughs> Off to the right. We don't know how far away that is. Those trees? Oh, short of the trees. Took a big bounce. It helps Sh that I hit it like right over here. I mean, that's where you want to hit it. That's the sweet spot in the club. Look at that beautiful sunset over there. The recorders and the the rest of the group there. And then there's the main man, Brody Smith himself, teeing off on 17. And that is perfect. 100% club head speed utilization. Probably like 118. On the glutes <laughs> I mean, yeah. That was ripped. I zoomed in on your glutes there. People, Did you? yeah, perfect. people That's are gonna be people, people are gonna be hot for those. Right right. Oh, was it perfectly just right on the freaking? Bottom? Yeah, let's go on the the uh, the glute cam here as we stroll back to the to the cart it's for all the, the lady viewers cam. there. I don't have Phil's calves, but he's but got I the got glute. some glutes. Ladies, he's married though. So back off. So back <laughs> off, ladies. The 3% the of you that are watching this that are female, I'm married. Yeah, but I'm single. Oh, Pat. Yeah, yeah. 188, it looks like uh, Pat was doing a little backstopping action with this tree. Legal, not on the green, so we'll take it. We'll allow it. Going with a seven iron, gonna fly it over these trees in front of him, try to cozy one up to the pin here. Give himself a birdie look. Starts it out left, but it's going in the bunker potentially. Yep, it's in the sand trap, but you know guys, you already know in the comments, he is the sand genie. <laughs> the greatest sand player on YouTube. That's an up and down 100%. That's my first bunker Yeah, the day. they're gonna see it now. They're gonna oh, see I the gotta, genie at I work. Gotta, I gotta get to work then. My drive just took off here. I've got 80 yards left. Time to hit a wedge close. Yeah, I'll get it. That was this. Oh, you want to do it? Yeah, why not? Why not? All right. All right, we're going with a knee height shot here, Brody. Lob wedge, 80 yards. Lob wedge, 80 yards. Hole 17 for a 400 yard drive. Seems pretty good. Go in. Stay on the green. Pretty good shot. Take it. My ball rolled out a little bit more than I was expecting, probably because it was downwind a little bit. But I should have like a seven, eight footer or so for birdie. And can we get some love right now in this video for the Sand Genie? Hit, hit this video with a like. Leave a comment down below. Sand Genie. Oh Let him know. Let him know. He's the Sand Genie. Oh my. He does not disappoint, ladies and gentlemen. That was actually a really hard bunker shot, too. That is not an easy bunker shot, and you made that look so easy. Just freaking finish it out. The freaking sand genie I said it was gonna be 100% up and down. He never disappoints. There it is. Never disappoints. We're fully in the shadows now. The sun is set on our first day 
here in Portugal and Brody is looking to capitalize late. Back to back birds? Back to back birds, could it be? It'd be dirty. Get a good wedge and shot in here, just right by the pin. Now, not gonna be much in this, just a little bit, a little bit straight, that's all. It oh, he jerked left. it. It jumped left, and it hit it! Gosh, Brody. Oh! Just crazy rage from the, the furious competitor. I needed that one, it saved my round. Hole 18, guys, we finally have made it. 474 yards. I. Pat, how do you feel about playing the tips today? Let's do it, man. I don't Let's know. Do I think we looked at the scorecard and was like, oh, that's not that far, and then didn't realize it was actually meters and not yards, and uh, there's a lot of yards in a meter. And this is a big boy part four. It's actually number five on the uh, European Tour golf sixes. Cash, 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 cash. And yeah, we're just gonna let it rip, folks. This is this is it. Last hole. Here we go. Let's get it. Hole 18 is a par four, 474 yards. They do not give you cupcake holes here coming into the down stretch. Again, the fairway kind of runs out at like 337 yards. Smart play downwind would be hit a three wood, hit a driving iron, get something in the fairway. But you know, I already have a driver. I'm, I'm trying to drive every green out here, regardless of whether it's 500 yards or 400 or whatever. But there, that's what I'm talking about. The fairway on the right-hand side kind of, you know, just goes nowhere. So you want to be left here. Keep it left. Got some tree issues if you drive it a little bit too close or potentially if you flight your second shot too low. And a beautiful green with the water in the background to finish this off. Oh, my God! You... <laughs> <laughs> Three wood off the deck from Blair. Oh, that's going to look nice on shot tracer. All right, final tee shot. Let's get it. All I'm thinking right now is DeChambeau. Not sure why, but... Yeah, I have no All idea. Right. Smoked. Is that rolling your boat? The last approach shot, 200 into this hole 18. Beast of a hole. Patrick's trying to find the right club selection. I'm thinking probably maybe the four, maybe the three. I think I'm just gonna hit a high flying five with the fade. Oh, he's liking the five with the fade. It's literally, the pin is lit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Did not know that was happening next to me. My apologies. He's hitting right oh, behind this tree. Did you just make it? Go yeah, I'm just gonna ride the green though. Okay, without okay, you didn't make you didn't make the shot. Didn't make the shot. <laughs> <laughs> Pat, here we go. Oh, he's locked in and focused. Is the five the right club? Should have trusted the caddy, saying four. Mistakes were made. He's gonna have to get up and down to sa salvage. What is that? Oh no, it is a four. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a weakling. <laughs> All right, this is your final call from yeah, the- I think this is what you call uh, not knowing the course. Because I hit, I thought I hit a perfect drive. And this is not where you want to be after a perfect drive. I have 113 yards, a pine cone tree. Is this legal? Slightly, slightly legal. In front of me. Sprinklers have now just gone on Watering the greens to slow them out. I'm gonna try to hit a hundred yard shot of the seven iron, bank it into and have it pop up. Looks pretty good. Looks good, pretty great. Pretty good lie. Back to the glute cam. Ah, it didn't make it up. It didn't make it up. Uh, well. Too much water on the greens. The glute cam was in effect there for 
temporary second for the ladies again. It was, it was a quick little pinch. All right, guys, you cannot script a better ending. Let's hope this done doesn't come up and just blow up right <laughs> in my butt. I was gonna say waterfalls come on, but these are clearly sprinklers. Gotcha. That, <laughs> that is nerve wracking. He has a sprinkler head uh, about three feet or so from his ball. Could pop up at any moment. He can't let it affect him. I'm gonna come up here for more of an aerial view of his shot. We're gonna keep it live here, folks. We're staying live, staying on Patrick, coming around. He flipped it up there nicely. There's a lot of water on the green, so it's gonna settle up next to the hole. Wow. Nicely done, sir. Just a little putt for your par. This is your co-captain here, Koenig, coming in with the final call. And then after this, we're gonna turn it over to the main man, Brody Smith, and uh, let's see what he's got here. He's looking at it. He's got a little chip up the hill. Nothing too difficult. Certainly something that he's very familiar with, having missed his fair share, fair share of greens today. So let's see how he does. Oh, pretty good, pretty good. Just, Just a down. little hot. He caught a little thin on the, the club. It's gonna be a challenging par for Brody. All right, guys, when I said it was my last call, I was just lying. And Brody's got to hit this thing freaking fast because the water is coming at him. Oh, if it wasn't for the wind, he'd be getting so soaked right now. Oh, he misses it. Oh, what a bummer. And it's coming. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Oh, Way gosh. to finish. All right, yeah. You got to make yours now. You got to play. You got to play. Play it as it lies. Play it as it lies. I did it. You got to. This is uh, this is for when you actually have to play in Asia and there's a monsoon coming in. Both of them are having to. Oh, just getting absolutely pelted. <laughs> just get. Oh, another one came. Oh, he's not faced. Can Ben do the same thing? The rat. Oh, Ben! Oh no! That is gonna do it for us here. We're gonna wrap up. We got the waterfalls coming, AK sprinkler heads. Had an absolute blast. Make sure you check out these guys uh, in the description down below. You got Blair, Pat, Ben behind me. We had a blast out here at what course was this again, guys? Machu Picchu. No, no. Where are we? Oitavas Dunes. Okay. Uh, we got it. We figured it out. Good luck. I'll put the link in the description down below so you guys will know. Also, shout out to Bonobos for hooking us up with all these sweet clothes that you see here today. And we're going to move on to the next course. And I can guarantee you one thing. Actually, two things. Patrick will shoot a lower score and Patrick will get up and down every single time from the bunker. Oh, all right, guys. Until next time, we'll see you. Peace.